Uh, this is a conti, as you can see. It's huge. This is like a quarter of a wheel. Hello, I make. I am what people call a cheesemonger. Uh, this is the cheese arc. It's called the cheese arc because we have cheeses that are not that ordinary. They are cheeses that are pretty much gonna die out. I was in advertising for most of my working life. It was a great job. I had a lot of fun and I was coming up to my 10th year. I just wanted to do something quite, quite different. I wanted to do something that was in direct contrast to what I've been doing for 10 years. I wanted to be outside, I wanted to work with my hands. One thing led to another and then I was working in a cheese farm. This um, is a very mouldy cheese. The name of this cheese is called Chef Gris. It's actually born in Holland. Chef means uh, goat, Gris means grey. So you can see the mold is, is quite great. And what this does is it changes the taste. Sometimes we clean it off. It can be quite scary to be this moldy, but generally speaking, our customers are quite used to this. They are not really afraid of mold that much. As we have our own cellar, we do the last bit of aging ourselves, so the mold continues to grow. You can see that the gray mold doesn't quite penetrate uh, the inside is sweet. It's got a slightly long finish. It's quite fruity as a, as a cheese. Enjoy cheese any way that you like it. So I'm the complete opposite. I, I like my cheese without anything. I started working in Italy in a lovely, lovely town called Siena in Tuscany. I wanted to make a cheese and see the entire process from start to finish because I knew I only had three months. So then I picked a Pecorino farm. Pecorino is uh, an Italian sheep's milk cheese. I could walk the sheep, milk the sheep, make the cheese, age the cheese, and then just before I had to go, I got to taste the cheese. It was a revelation because I got to see how a real cheese was made. And then after that, there was no turning back because the secret that very few people know is that when you make cheese properly with great animals, great milk, good grass, the cheese is always going to be good. Conte is one of the most famous cheeses in France. The main characteristic of Conte is that it's absolutely sweet and fruity. Strawberries and melon and wildflowers age develops flavor. This is 24 months. So we either have the 24 or we have the 36. The older the cheese, generally speaking, well not generally speaking, most definitely it will be stronger. This is Gorgonzola. It's a really huge cheese as you can tell. This is Gorgonzola with truffles. You can um, see how crazy gooey it is. I didn't want to start a shop. That was the furthest thing from my mind. That wasn't the objective, that wasn't the plan. I suppose as things happen, one day I saw that uh, there was a farmer's market that was about to open and that was called Pasabella then. They wanted somebody to open a cheese shop. I went to have a look. I got convinced to open a shop. What I always, always wanted in the years that I've been going around to farms and trying out really, really good cheeses, I thought it was a real shame that nobody could taste them apart from me. So the best way for people to, to try the cheeses that I've tasted would be in the form of, of a shop. So it kind of worked out in, in the end. I'm glad that it happened. For sure, people are happy <laughs> when they get their cheese. It's quite an incredible thing. There are very few jobs out there where you can make people that happy that instantly. For that reason, I think I'm quite glad that the shop exists.